if you're new to the channel, you won't understand what's been going on, so I'll explain. I started out doing the front brakes on my Discovery and found out that I needed more parts than I had. <laughs> and I've ended up going a little bit further than just the brakes. So, so far we've got the swivels off and the stub axles and all that kind of stuff and I decided to go a little bit further and I've taken the complete front axle off suspension the lot and I've decided to overhaul the lot the swivels were all right I knew they were good I didn't I did them not too long ago but the stub axles needed replacing the diff I'll show you that come over here to the diff this is the diff that came out of the discovery and rattling like a good one so I already had a spare diff and I have re like refurbished it and I fit it into the axle I've also been busy painting with Buzzwell's chassis in one paint and I have painted the complete axle it's all been ground back and repainted I've fit a new oil seal into the diff Replace the flange because that was a three prong flange. That was one of these. So I've took that out, fit the four prong flange for my 200 TDI. No, that's the rear for the just the normal prop shaft. And I've also painted it all up, fit a new gasket, and it's ready to be bolted down. The swivels have been painted up as well in the same stuff. And up here we've got the spring seats painted, the mud shields and a little bit of bling for the swivels. And I've also painted the panard rod over there when we get a bit of focus. Also, the hubs have been repainted and um, I'm going to change back to the original drive flanges. Um, because the heavy duty ones, I don't feel like the ceiling very well. And we're allowing water to get into the like the bearing areas so i'm going to go back to the old ones i've ordered a load of new parts we've got everything labeled up here and stacks of new oil seals gaskets the works there's just a couple more pieces that i'm waiting on um they are for the stub axles which we don't need just yet so we can get all the other bits built up and get the axle ready to go back on the car. So the first job is to torque up the diff bolts. They have been looking through the D1 workshop manual and they are 41 newton meters. Then we can start on everything else. Okay, so that's all the diff torqued up. I went a bit over the top with the torquing, but I wanted to make sure it was nice and tight. I've also fit the top bracket for the diff guard, and I'm gonna, now going to fit the bottom part of the diff guard. It's all on then. I don't have to worry about it when I'm under the car. It's all fastened up. Okay, so that's the diff guard on. I've moved the axle down onto this swiveling thing so that I can wheel it out the car next job is to clean these up and get them fit and start putting the spring seats on and the lift spaces Okay, so that's everything cleaned up. Now the I have attached the seats to the the spring seats to the axle. Now we're going to wheel the axle out and start fitting it to the car.
So the plan is to wheel the axle under and then slowly jack it up with the arms attached. That way it should all just slot in nicely and then we can put the springs in and the shocks and all that kind of stuff. That's the theory anyway. Won't go that way though. Maybe fit the panard rod first. Because that will hold the axle where it wants to be. And I'll need the bolts for it. <laughs> so what I've done here, I have got an adjustable panard rod and I've just loosened this lock nut off so that I can twizzle it round so it gets the right angle when we get it all fit. Just putting the bolts through loosely and that's going to go up there somewhere. Down to the other side and we'll do the other bit now. So that's the panard rod in. For some reason it's always tight. So, damaged a little bit of paint work, but it's in. It's looking good. Now we're going to put the arms on and start jacking it up. Do it the other side as well before that extends. Now I'm just going to gently jack the axle up. Hopefully it all works. So now I've got everything in place and where I want it to be, I'm going to start talking some of these bolts up. I'm going to do the radius arms to the chassis and I've got the torque settings down here from the workshop manual. So the radius arm to the chassis is 176 newton meters.
Right, well that is the axle on. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks really good. Check it out. We've still got the swivel to put on. Everything's torqued up, tightened up, fastened up. Yeah, looks really good. So I'm going to leave the video there. That is the axle fit and the suspension all back together. The next job that we've got to do is the swivels and the stub axles. We're just waiting on a couple of bearings for the stub axles. So we'll leave the video there. Thank you very much for joining me and come back next time. <laughs> Bye for now.